This is a review on Morbius, the living vampire, as they used to call him. And it's a 1970s character that premiered in The Amazing Spider-Man. And he's been both a villain, usually, and an anti-hero. He actually has, in terms of his parts, his only other accessory, he has this... See this bat-like cape, which I'll take off in a moment. And he has this, his other accessory, the normal sized cape. So, this is the bat look in terms of how the interpretation. And this is more of the normal sized cape look. Michael Morbius here, the vampire, he did have a Toy Biz action figure and it did not hold up well and it was never really good to begin with. So let's take a look. And that figure was about a decade old so it's about time that he got an upgrade in the Legend scale. I'm just gonna take this off for a second. And let's just check out the details See the, the head sculpt, open mouth, red eyes, hopefully it's going to show up, there's black around the eyes, has a high collar here, just like in the comic look, did a really good job in terms of this interpretation, he has claw like hands and look at that, they painted the fingernails black. So nice attention to detail. This is painted on, so they kind of went cheap there. Just painted the belt design. And that's about it for the costume, just like the comic look. It's very basic down here. That's painted on, but this, the interpretation of this look, and you see how the arms are exposed here. And he has the red inner cape and the black outer cape thing. So it makes for a pretty nice design. Probably not too complicated a figure to make, but it did take some design elements to work with. And I think Hasbro did a pretty good job interpreting it. And one other thing to mention, is check out the ears. I like how it goes right between the hair in terms of the sculpting. Did a good job there. It is about six and three quarter inches tall. And the articulation, the head, not too much down or up though. But you do get some side to side pretty good. The ball jointed shoulders, in or out, up or down. And you got swivel biceps double articulation at the elbow. But nothing here, it's just painted on. But the wrists, ball jointed, in, out, you can spin it. I like the claw-like hands that they did a good job with in terms of how you can pose it. Fits the character well. He has a pivot torso. Range is pretty good. And swivel waist. The hips, ball jointed, in or out, up or down swivel thighs, has a double knees articulation, and even has calf articulation right here. And the ankles are ball jointed up down to the sides. And I'm going to give my final word in a moment. So Rob, what did you think of Morbius, uh, part of the Marvel Legends Absorbing Man build a figure wave? I think it's about time that we had Morbius in this classic look. Toy Biz made a Morbius about a decade ago, and it was not a good figure. It just wasn't. And this is the only other Morbius we've had since then in this scale. And it's that classic look, and it's just so well made by Hasbro. They did a fantastic job, I think. They gave you an alternate cape, which is a nice addition. And a nice face sculpt in terms of his vampire look. 
It's a character that's always been around and sort of like uh, not an A-lister but always been a popular enough that he always returns in the comic books and it's finally nice to get a good figure and version of the character. He's usually a villain, sometimes a hero, maybe an anti-hero. I think he has a unique place in the Marvel Comics universe. So I would recommend it overall. And uh, so that's the review. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.